Right, so today is going to be the men's Wimbledon final, 2 p.m. British Standard Time. I don't know if it's GMT or BST, but we're going to go and take Little Man to the marketplace. It's kind of becoming a Sunday tradition. We should really go church, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> <laughs> let's get going. All right, let's get going. <laughs> this kid, come in. Oh, oh, where are we? Where? Oh, close the door. Wait. Come on. Oh. All right, can you hold him, please? The privilege of having little man so hopefully the stabilization is okay <sighs> all right we don't need his blanket and stuff or his coat do we red sticks does he need it these okay. all right then and i think that should be all right close it off if someone wants to have a little dig in oh. this bag is actually pretty good for utility purposes <laughs> let me just show you guys quickly so at the front my gosh look at that look at that got my Tools ready to work. <laughs> Let's go. you grow up, alright, London Fields is a vibe in the summer. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go. So we'll get a coffee here real quick and head to the market. Yeah. Music. I don't know if it's copyrighted music, but I'm just taking out a coffee right now and we're gonna head to the market. We're gonna head to the market and get some food. Cause we wanna watch the men's Wimbledon final. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, come on, let's have a look. What was I gonna say? I think I found a new coffee craving. <laughs> what is this? The ice. I really don't know what it is. But I think the powder has persuaded me passionately. <laughs> what is it? Mm. I guess uh, the 
the hipster coffee is decent every now and again when it's iced and flavored I suppose but if it's just straight up Americano ah, I'm alright let's go get some food so you messed up you should have got this it's basically an iced version of that so if you just pull that into the frame you messed up because this tastes like chocolate milkshake but it's caffeinated my mission today sorry is to find a place to watch the Wimbledon men's final I believe it's Djokovic the reason why I want to watch is because I believe he's an underdog people are against him and I'm all for the underdog so I want him to win naturally you support the underdog or well, I do anyways <laughs> and that's going to be the mission today find a pub or somewhere that shows or is going to screen it if not we have a backup plan well, we're just gonna find somewhere in the field and we're going to probably watch it. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. That's the backup plan. That's the backup plan. man is coughing and we're trying to figure well I'm trying to figure out what I want to eat I really do want to try a beetroot juice the market is just literally over there busy today absolute vibes can't believe I just said absolute vibes but great great Sunday feeling such a great Sunday feeling sorry little man he's in the shop <laughs> as I was saying while we were waiting on the side, I was giving little man a little water because he's fairly sleepy, dehydrated and he's recovering from a little cough. As I was saying, I bumped into a guy who was looking at me funny, looking at me funny, didn't pay attention to it, didn't pay attention to it, I looked at him again, he was looking and he stopped. He said to me, he said to me, you're the one who does those Hirachi videos. And he literally just said, oh, I used to watch your videos. It makes me wonder whether or not I need to be doing my videos again. But I do appreciate you. I do appreciate you guys who acknowledge the videos and just say hello. It's crazy because sometimes they do feel that you're some kind of, well, we're just regular people. Honestly, we're just regular people making videos and what interests us so shout outs to you I didn't ask for your name I just said respect and if you're ever watching this or if, if ever you do watch this then appreciate you bro let's go and get something to eat or that beetroot juice or something along those lines <laughs> this boy don't want to sleep seems like a chicken burrito little man is a bit fussy but let's dig in let's have a bite i didn't want it but i'm just getting to grips with leftovers leftover life <laughs> let's do it mm. 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 It's quite delicious. So, it seems to be just a chicken burrito. You know? Let me just eat quickly. It's essentially chicken and rice. We had that yesterday for dinner. Mm. Are you vlogging as well? 
not what I had in mind for a Sunday lunch, but I'm flexible, you know, that's why I didn't order anything yet. <laughs> mm. Cilantro is nice. <laughs> it's crazy. Grip it. <laughs> I've been wanting to make this myself. It's so nice. Was it beetroot? I don't know why I wanted something beetroot. It's because. You know when you watch YouTube and then something's recommended? For some reason, it recommended me to make beetroot juice. And I've been wanting to make something with beetroot, carrot, ginger. So this has beetroot as a main component, ingredient, and this has ginger. I prefer this one. I'm a berry. I think this is the spot for me to record because I was here last time we recorded. And the little man's asleep, so the time right now I believe is Oh my gosh. The final starts in 40 minutes, so we haven't found a place to watch, so we're gonna go with our backup contingency. We didn't bring a mat. Can't use his back. We'll find somewhere to watch the game or the men's Wimbledon final. Say that really fast. Men's Wimbledon final. Men's Wimbledon. All right, let's go. I think I'm gingered out. <laughs> right, so that concludes our little trip here. London Fields. Food was actually delicious. Actually, if I'm being completely honest, the the burrito wasn't all that fresh, but it was lacking in some kind of flavor. That being said, I think I was just a bit iffy with my choice of food today because just couldn't decide on what to eat. The highlights were the mocha, was it a mocha? Iced coffee mocha, that was delicious because the ice basically made the powdered mocha side of it into little chocolate chips and that beetroot juice was delicious so delicious so now we're gonna head over back to the house and make it in time for the finals where hopefully the underdog wins and i probably just jinxed it yeah let's go just walked in gonna get the tennis on before i get little man out of the car and into the living room but let's see Wimbledon, UHD live, watching Ultra HD. I believe it's Ultra HD, bro. Started two minutes ago. 2 p.m. is the start time. So <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go and get little man. 15 love, first points, Djokovic. Yeah. Had to knock one out. I'm human just like you guys. Some people use the toilet as a time to reflect. Others use the time to scroll on their phones, but I use the time to really be thankful for luxuries such as toilet tissue. Cause I've been lucky enough to learn how to use a bidet. Not everyone uses a bidet or not every toilet in London or in England has a bidet. You better wash your butt after you use it. <laughs> Don't just wipe, please. Come on, guys. Let's get this in and get back to the match. Come on, we gotta be quick about this. Right, so Djokovic literally was break point down and he closed out the first game in the first set. I was unaware, right? as I'm streaming on my phone, Djokovic isn't world number one right now. This may put him over the hump in terms of regaining that world number one title. 
But I had no idea the Spaniard was world number one and Djokovic world number two. That's surprising. Even more reason for me to root for the underdog, aka Djokovic. When it was him and Federer, I always wanted Federer to win. Just because Federer is that, he's that guy, man, you know. So smooth, elegant, eloquent when he talks. Yeah. Let's enjoy the game. The underdog didn't prevail. What are these signs? Djokovic could have closed it out. He looked great in the first set, but he just lost his way. I think the crowd etching in emotions played a massive part in the Djokovic loss, but oh well. I've never really been a fan. It's not that I haven't been a fan. He's an amazing player. It's just I'm more of a Federer guy. I really hope he would have won this this championship. I had no idea he was world number two, honestly. But that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. But oh well. It's just one of those things, isn't it? It's just one of those things. They are loving him. They are absolutely loving him. So, gonna leave it there. And see you in the next one, I suppose.